Hi everyone, welcome to the second episode of uh, Sub 7 uh, Minute Grammar Notes. Uh, in this uh, episode, we'll be going through, we'll, we'll be formally starting the subject verb agreement discussion, which is the first category of errors that we'll be learning. And uh, we'll start off with uh, going through the minimal basics of subject verb agreement. So before we get into what are the errors, what are the various types of errors which are which can be committed uh, with respect to this these rules. Uh, we need to know some very minimal basics here, like what is a subject, what is an object, what is a verb, etc. Right? Parts of speech में नहीं जा रहे हम लोगों, उतना पीछे नहीं जाएंगे. Just the minimal basics that we need to know. Okay? So let's let's jump right into it. So guys, uh, generally an expression or a sentence in language has the following structure. Right? It talks about a certain action that's taking place, which is being undertaken or or conducted by the doer, he is doer hai us action ka, someone who is doing that action, and then you have someone who is on the receiving end of the action, right? Uh, so that is the receiver, okay? Uh, the terminology, in the, uh, so far as uh, the grammatical terminology for these elements is this the action is denoted by the verb, okay? The doer is known as the subject, and uh, the, the receiver. The, the receiving entity which is on the receiving end of the action is known as the object. Okay? Simple as that. Ye ek simple aapka structure hota hai, ek example dekhte hai iska. Uh, Ron built a tree house. Built is the action, so is the verb, uh, and hence the verb. Uh, Ron is the doer, so hence will be considered as the subject, and tree house is, the, is on the receiving end, hence will be known as the object. Right? Iske thode baut aur bhi forms hota hai. Let's look at that. Like sometimes, uh, You'll also have you'll have two objects on the receiving end, right? You have a subject, ek subject hoga aapka, ek verb hoga, and then instead of one object, you'll have two objects. Okay. What would that sentence look like? It will look like something. It will look something like this. Ron built his family a tree house. Now you can see here that you just have one action verb, action word which is the verb. So built aapka verb hoga. You have only one subject which is Ron, but so far as objects are concerned, you have two of them. Aapke paas do objects hain. Ek hai aap hoga the family, Ron's family, and the tree house, right? Now, one of these two objects is considered as a direct object, and the other object is considered as the indirect object. Okay, how do we differentiate? Very simple. The object which is on the receiving end of the verb is known as the direct object, right? Uh, for example, the verb built is directed towards the tree house, not towards family. This family is not directed towards family. Like it is, he's not building the family, right? He's building the tree house. So, so, so the direct object will be the tree house. Tree house will become your direct object. Ki aapka direct object ho gaya. Okay? Uh, and the indirect object is one that is on the receiving end of the direct object itself, right? So the tree house is being built for whom? For the family. So that becomes the indirect object. Okay? Take a format of that final last one is which is that uh, well, you have a subject. And instead of having objects, you have subject complements, C-O-M-P-L-E-M-E-N-T-S. Okay, subject complements. A subject complement is basically just something that gives you information about the subject, right? So for example, if I say Ron is a good builder, so here is a good builder, it is just giving you more information about the subject, about Ron here, right? So it will, it will be considered as the subject complement, as simple as that. Take care. Finally, what are predicates? Predicates will be all of these. Sare ke sare jo aapke hai, ye, all of these will be your predicates. Like all the all that di, which gives you information up about the subject, right? Including the verb and the object, the verb and the direct and indirect objects, and in this case the verb and the subject complement. They are all considered as the predicates. Okay, so that's about that. Next, we need to discuss the SP inversion. What is the SP inversion? It's very simple. Uh, see, when you write uh, nouns in their singular forms, like car and cat, you simply write them as car and cat because car represents one car, cat represents one cat, right? Uh, but if you want to pluralize them, you add an S to them, right? You, your car becomes cars, cat becomes cats. But in case of verbs, it becomes just the other way around. Like the ho hai. Verbs ki case mein, if you have an S there, then, it, then that verb represents the singular form of the verb, okay? As opposed to noun. Noun mein jab aapka S tha, to wo plural form ho tha, noun ka. But verb mein jab aapka S tha, that means it represents the singular form. And when it, does, when it does not have an S, then it then that verb form is considered as a plural verb form. Okay? So, that's how it works. And that's why it's called an inversion. Okay? Kuch examples dekhte hai For example, in this sentence, the noun is 
singular in nature as well as the verb they are both singular in nature but the noun does not have an s and this does have an s right jo aapko yahan dikh raha hai noun mein s singular mein nahi hoga verb mein s hoga similarly in the next sentence look at this uh, you have the noun is plural of the plural form as well as the what do you say the verb is also also of the plural form right so but for the noun you do have an s here we do have an s for the noun here but we don't have an s here right so what which which is something that you can see here so that's what the sp inversion is guys okay so guys now finally let's try to understand what's the agreement about in subject verb agreement well it's very simple a singular subject should take a singular verb and a plural subject is supposed to take a plural verb let's look at some examples now uh see jerry's car runs or run on diesel right so jerry's car happens to be a singular subject and hence we need to go for a singular verb here which is runs so jerry's car runs on diesel not run on diesel most of the old cars run or runs on diesel in this case the subject happens to be plural in nature right and hence your the, the correct verb should be that that should be used here is run which is the plural form not run so most of the old cars run on diesel hermione's cat like or likes to annoy birds hermione's cat happens to be a singular subject so use the singular form of the verb not like cats like or likes to annoy birds cats happens to be the plural subject so use the plural form of the verb not the singular form so cats like to annoy birds okay so that's about it so obviously you guys the question arises here ki then what's all the first about it it's something as simple as that right well as it turns out that uh, in many cases many types of sentences it is not outrightly clear ki kaun sa verb form use hona chahiye singular plural etc right and and uh, to test that you can pause the video and you can try to figure out ki whether the verb forms which have been used here are correct or not okay maine uske corrections bhi yahan pe diye hue hain so yeah here are the corrections if you want to pause just go back a few seconds and pause and try and then these are obviously generally the kind of uh, sentences which are also tested you know uh, in the indoor entrance examinations and that's exactly what our next episodes are supposed to help you with to provide you tools and methods to help you in this regards okay so that's it so guys for those of you who are new to the channel i am manupam mishra and i am lucknow alumnus and uh, baki jo mera introduction hai maine ek alag se video banaya hua you can go and watch that to know about my profile and credentials uh you can click here to take you to that video uh and if you want to watch the next video in the series uh, click here and if you have any feedback uh, as to the series or jo kuch bhi ho so you can you can put that in the comment section and even, even if there's some sort of appreciation agar kuch hai to do let us know uh that goes a long way for us okay and if you like the content on the channel do uh, like the videos and uh, subscribe uh, right consider subscribing to it so that's it thank you